Hello and welcome to this new episode. I am so happy that you could join me. Today I will be setting up my very first ever bullet journal. I'm glad that you could join me. So go ahead and get your favorite cup and uh, let's go ahead and get started. For my bullet journal, I'll be using the Everyday Notebook from Galen Leather. It is Tomo River Paper, 400 pages. I absolutely love it and I'm excited to get started. It also came with some grid pages that I laminated myself. I think they'll make really good pencil boards as well. It also came with an ink blotter and I made a bunch of little things to put in here. I love this death moth and I also added my name of course. I wanted to add a pocket for a if found in case you can contact me. Of course, I can't show you the card because it has sensitive information, but uh, I really think that this is a great addition just in case it gets lost. I will be using the bullet journal traditional system, meaning I plan for this book to be several volumes. So this one is volume one. I wanted to go with a design that was, I don't know, kind of art deco, yet modern, <laughs> kind of sketchy. Um, that was my inspiration anyway for this cover and beginning of hopefully many more volume of books to come. I had actually taken the time to go to the official bullet journal channel on YouTube and that's where I learned the system. So if you are not familiar with a Bujo bullet journal, I highly recommend to go visit that channel. It has all of the type of information um, and how to use it. It's kind of lengthy, but really simple, and I'm really excited about it. For a list of everything that I'm using in this video or resources, please look at the description for this video. But of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. absolutely love this ink blotter. <laughs> it is a lifesaver. I was really uh, hesitant to use like Sharpie markers or certain kind of pens on this paper, but I kept hearing and seeing that Tomo River paper was really great to use and absorbs ink very nicely. It is a very thin, lightweight paper that honestly I'm not used to. I'm doing a lot of new things um, for this new year of 2021. I mean, I'm starting a new system, I'm using new paper, I'm really wanting to go outside of my comfort zone because I really want to grow. And the only way you're going to grow is if you try new things, right? Anyway. Um, having that little blotting paper is so that way, in case the ink isn't fully dry, it won't transfer onto the other side of the paper, if that makes any sense. So that little ink blotter like, is really a lifesaver.
It's all about the final little touches. I keep going back and forth. Um, I do notice that a lot of the videos that I had seen, you know, where they would finish that one page, I'm, I'm not patient. I wanted to just keep going. I didn't want to wait for it to completely dry. And so I just uh, kept flipping back and forth and putting that blotting paper in between and just kept going. But don't worry, when it's the end, toward the end of the video, there will be a final flip through and you'll be able to see it all come together. I will also be numbering the bottom of the pages, but I'm not going to be numbering 400 of them. I'm only going to number 10 of them and number them as I need it. I had also seen that movie on Netflix, Ilona Holmes. So cute. And this is the language of flowers. I found the magnolia. My grandmother, God rest her soul, used to have a magnolia tree in her front yard. And it just reminded me of her and this whole language of flowers. I'm honestly fascinated by it. It's now time to move everything in. I'm gonna go ahead and put my notebook, all of the goodies, my tools, all that fun stuff. <laughs> um, and here is the flip through. I really love my volume one and how it came out. I'm really curious and interested to see how this will progress and how I like it. I'm gonna dedicate myself to it. I will be using this for my self-care and other little things that happen to me in the day and uh, see how it works out. I'm gonna be placing those grids in the back and that blotting paper I love so much. I also have a, a lunar calendar and a year at a glance that I laminated that I am putting in the back. And of course, I have my key that I made for my bullet journal for my notes. And I'll go ahead and put my tools back. And that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much again. And I hope that you enjoyed. I enjoyed making this video. So until next time, remember to be kind and have a happy day.